Welcome back to my channel, Beho's Toy World. Today I'm going to read a story to you. A very nice story. It's called... Oh, it's called... Princess Cordna and the Crocodile. Let's start. It's also for your little brothers and sisters, so if you want, you can show them. When, okay. when Princess Courtney was born, her mother and father thought she was as perfect as Snowflake. <coughs> Look at those big blue eyes, shouted the king. Look at her toes, cried the queen, and she kissed the baby's feet. They're like pink pearls. The picture? This person's court now which is for after her father and her mother. <coughs> Someday our little girl will be queen, said the king. <coughs> so. Because his blue eyes and pink toes would not have helped Princess Cortina to rule the land. We must teach her, said the queen. We will train her, said the king. So this is a picture. So that very day, the king and queen began to train Princess Cortina. They stopped thinking she was perfect and started worrying about what might be wrong with her. By the time she was seven years old, there wasn't a single minute when Princess Corna wasn't being trained. The starter picture, this Princess Corna right here, she's studying music. That's her father, her mother, and a giant picture over here. Hired a nanny to make Princess Cor to make sure that Princess Corna was always tidy. The, mo the nanny thought that being clean was the most important thing in the world. She made Princess Corna take three, three baths a day and watch like a hawk. To make sure that she washed herself all over. <coughs> Into the tub you go, the nanny would say, and the scrub a dub dub till I say stop. <coughs> Sometimes Princess Corna got tired of taking baths, but the nanny always shook her finger. Do you, she and said, Do you want to be a dirty little girl? Do you want to smell bad? Then Princess Corna turned red and took another bath. The picture. Snanny over here. Snanny watching like a hawk. Snanny shaking her finger. And this is Princess Corna. Just like, aw, I'm gonna take another bath. <laughs> <coughs> when she wasn't taking baths, Princess Corna studied hard, and every day she went to the tower room and read books about how to run the kingdom. Okay. A princess must be wise, said the queen. The books were so dull that the prince, that Princess Corna yawned until her eyes were full, were full, were, were full of tears. Sometimes she asked silly questions just to lighten things, to live in things up. <coughs> then the queen frowned, an awful frown, and said, Now, Corna, that is inappropriate. <coughs> so Corna hung her head and went back, and went back to work. 
This is the queen. And this, this is Princess Corona studying. She's hanging her head and she's asking silly questions to the queen. <coughs> After she studied, she studied a lot of cities. After she studied, Princess Corona went down to the old castle prison. Which the king turned into a gym. Every day, the king had. Every day, the king stood with his gold watch in his hands. And while Princess Corna ran in circles and skipped up to 500. <coughs> faster, faster, a future queen must be strong, said the king. Skipping rope is good for you. Princess Cora knew that skipping rope was good for her. That didn't make her like it any better. Okay. Sometimes she tried to say so. But when she did, the king squatted down in front of her and made his face look very sad. He said, Princess Corna, are you being a good girl? Princess Corna knew it would be of no use to say yes, and if she, <coughs> and she didn't want to say no, so she burst into tears. Okay, it's kind of, my hair is kind of messy without my bow hair band. I'm going to make it appear on my head. Abracadabra. Kid, bow hair band. Whoosh. Now I have it on my head. <laughs> oh, I'm actually going to. I have telekinesis. Actually, I don't have a telekinesis. I don't even know what that means. I've heard of it. And so, yeah. Okay. Princess Corona wanted her parents to be happy. She worked hard at being clean and strong and wise. Uh, question. Well, do you seriously have to interrupt? Right in my first story video? Yes, I do. <laughs> that wasn't even a question, that was a comment. Okay, let's go back. But deep inside, she was angry. Sometimes at night when she was alone in bed, she whispered, Skipping rope is stupid, and I'm sick, sick, sick of those boring books. When I grow up, I'm never going to take any baths. I'm going to be dirty. These thoughts scared her, but she couldn't stop thinking them. One night, a new idea crept into her head. It was different from the others, because it was a happy thought. She whispered, what if I had a dog? She smiled in the darkness. She thought of a great furry golden dog that would wag its tail and jump on her. A dog wouldn't tell her what to do. That's what I want, whispered Princess Corna. A dog. A question. Again, what? What does Corna mean? It's a name, Bella. Seriously. Oh, okay. Uh, not again. Sorry about that.